spring of 1995, the customer needed someone to shear about a thousand tons of 3 16 high strength sheets into blanks to solve a problem. When that customer went looking for a shear house to cut the steel, he couldn't find any. An inland steel engineer knew of this problem and quit his job to start up Majek Steel. Since then, Majek has sheared over 200,000 tons of steel to tight tolerances from 16 gauge to half inch material. Our expertise is the heavier gauges. We have back to back half inch shears. This setup allows us to rough cut then finish cut up to 160,000 pounds of steel in a 10 hour shift. In addition to the setup of the half inch shears, Majek has several other types of shears capable of handling many types of shearing projects. Designing a production plant that allows us to meet the needs of our customers while providing a low cost service required heavy duty overhead cranes in addition to the multiple pieces of material handling equipment that we have. In addition to numerous sizes of sheet lifters to accommodate various load sizes, we also have several jib cranes with vacuum sheet lifters so we can pick up large pieces of steel when we're putting them on the shears. Okay, all shears are designed for high speed efficiency with roller tables and conveyor stackers. Along with the conveyor stacker, we use the port arm to help maintain consistent accuracy in the shearing process. Okay, what we have here is a Cooper Weymouth coil straightener that has been retrofitted to become a flattener. We have used a Euro drive and we're able to take bowed pieces of steel and run them through the machine and they come out dead flat. Okay, this piece here is bowed about an inch over two feet. When we now go to flatten it, we're gonna run the piece through the flattener and it's gonna come out the other side dead flat. Go ahead and set it down there, Danny. And you can see now that piece is completely flat. After the product is designed on the computer and downloaded to the flash drive, we come out to the roll former and we're prepared to make whatever the product is we have to make at the time. So right now, Ken is gonna to prepare to make a wall panel. What's nice about these steel frame machines is the ability to use touch screens once we've downloaded the software from the flash drive into the machine. Back in 2003, we looked for a way to diversify Majak, and what we came up with was panelized steel walls and floors and roof trusses out of uh, steel and make both studs and track out of that material. As you can see, when we manufacture the panels, we manufacture them on a jig. The studs are attached to the track using steel rivets. The design of the noggin line is an excellent way to build support on a panelized wall. And you can see that the noggin line fits as a cutout piece of track right into the middle of the panelized wall. And the rivet holes are already punched into the steel so we know exactly where to put the noggin line. One of the advantages of using super high strength steel is by making very straight studs and track we're able to manufacture within a 32nd of an inch on our panels. Okay, we're about to assemble a 10 by 20 foot shed with the trusses we've made. Steel is bought domestically from a mini mill, so it comes from scrap and is returned to steel. This isn't the cheap studs you're used to seeing at many um, home improvement stores. These things do not bend very easily. You're gonna take a hammer to have to bend them. A human being can't walk up and just bend the studs. To assemble one of these units, all you need is a couple of clamps, a cordless drill, and a ladder. As you can see, the truss on the end of the building is double trussed for our durability. And this shed is not going to fall down in any type of storm. The holes for screwing in the screws are designed right into the trusses and they go right in through the roll former so we can speed the process up during the installation so we're not running holes that are unnecessary. They're already designed into the software and they're designed into the panels. It's pretty cool, isn't it, Greg? They're putting this whole thing together in like 15 minutes. You gotta see how fast they can put together like a restaurant building. It's unbelievable. We're installing the last truss. From start to finish, this building has been no more than 15 minutes at this point in time. A couple of things we want to show you in the characteristic of this building is these are double studded. They're interlocking, and I don't care how much you try to turn this, you can't twist this piece. It's very solid. 
you notice the concept of the noggin lines, the noggin lines are designed into the software. The software, when they're rolled out on the roll former, actually cuts out the holes in the track which come down and we insert the studs into the noggin lines for more stability. Now something that a lot of guys in construction like to do is go around and they'll just push these studs in and bend them and push them back because they're made of cheap steel. These babies, there's no bending this stuff. You hurt your hand trying to bend this steel. Over 14 years, we have put steel into many products. In fact, on a daily basis, you eat, handle, sleep upon, ride upon, or do something in your daily life that Majak Steel is involved with. We have steel in almost 50% of all trucks on the highways today. We have been involved in the manufacturing of hundreds of thousands of dishwashers, microwaves, refrigerators. We have parts on 90 plus percent of all rail cars in the United States. The food you eat, the clothes you wear, the house you live in has products that have been passed through Majek Steel at some point in time. It's hard to believe over 14 years in the 200,000 tons of steel that we have sheared that steel has gone into so many products that deal with people's lives on a daily basis. I would not have envisioned it when I first came up with the company 14, the idea for the company 14 years ago, but it is true today and it will be true tomorrow.